It is the off-season, so that means one thing. People like to talk about transfers, 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 and Newcastle are being linked with so many different players. And one of the pit players that we're going to talk about today is Leipzig's attacking midfielder, Zobaslai, who is only 22 years old. He's Hungarian. He is absolutely on fire at the moment. He's had a great season. One of his goals actually came just the other day in the German Cup final where he wrapped the game up with by scoring the second goal in the 85th minute to uh, basically win the cup for Leipzig. So, you know, very, very exciting player, very capable of scoring in big moments and the sort of player we want to see at Newcastle. He scored six goals and eight, had eight assists in the Bundesliga, which is a great return for any player. And it seems to me like he's just, he, he seems to be getting better and better and better and he's at a point of his career where he is looking for the next step, the next challenge. He's also had 10 goals and 13 assists in all competitions this season, including playing in the Champions League, which is obviously huge for Newcastle to have a player come in who with Champions League experience. Because in our squad, we don't actually have that many players who've played in the Champions League yet. Obviously, next season that's going to change. But we're hoping to recruit some players who maybe have already had a bit of experience in the Champions League. As I say, Zobosly has been scouted by Newcastle United on two occasions. It's widely reported that that's the case. So we know that there's genuine interest in him from the club. And he looks to fill a position that is absolutely vital for us because ultimately we need more midfielders. We need to get strength in depth. And we know that Eddie Howe wants one or two... Well, we know that he wants two players at least for every position so that he can have two teams of 11. That's basically what his target is. So we're talking about moving players out who aren't good enough and bringing in better, younger players. And this this player, Zobas like completely fills that mould for Newcastle United. There's a couple of issues, though. Number one is... He has been quite outspoken. In fact, he got fined for an interview he did recently where he was quite outspoken about being open to new challenges, uh, looking to uh, looking for offers that would come in for him. So he's definitely a player that looks like he is itching for a move out of the Bundesliga. And the Premier League seems like the kind of league he wants to come and play in. He wants to test himself in the best league in the world and you can't blame him for that. He's got the world at his feet. He's only 22, be 23 soon but he is going to be some player. Now, in, in some of the interviews that he said, he's actually mentioned people like Klopp and Guardiola and, and, and these really top managers who he wants to, who would like to play for. Now, that doesn't mean we can't get him, but he clearly wants to go to a top club in England. And whether we can compete with Liverpool or Man City, if, the, if either of them came in for him, I'm, I don't know if Man City are even are linked to him at all, to be fair, but I know Liverpool have been. And it's whether he sees them as more of a, a sure bet than Newcastle, or whether he'd be convinced that the project at Newcastle is where his future lays. Now, for me, I think we're the most exciting project in English football at the moment. Eddie Howe's proven to be a great coach who improves players. So if he came to us, it would be absolutely fantastic. He's obviously a player who's going to be in demand and he's also a player who will be absolutely worth having. More creativity in our midfield would be very, very welcome, although we built on a, a solid foundation, but Eddie Howe is looking to kind of score even more goals than we did even this season. So we're trying to have that balance between defence and attack. And I think one of the things about Zobersley is he is an all-rounder. Like he, he will track back, he will fit into the Eddie Howe mould of just being a team player. And I think that's really exciting. If you look at his heat map for the season, it's very much spread across the pitch. So he, with, a, with a tendency to play more down the right than the left, for example. But, but if you look at his heat map here, you can see that actually he is all over the pitch. Uh, defensive areas, midfield areas, but also mainly in the attacking third. That's a very exciting type of player that we could be getting. The transfer fee for him is reported to be about £60 million. So again, it's not... It's not cheap. He's not going to come cheap, but these players aren't. I mean, you know, he's got all the potential in the world. We've got. We do have to factor in financial fair play. I think if the club feel like it's the right player at the right price, they will spend the money. That's the good thing about our owners at the moment. It's not a case of, oh, that's not doable because there's not the budget. We know that there is the budget there. It's just how they manage the financial fair play aspect of it. Someone also pointed out that if we went for Madison, his wages would be a lot higher than possibly Zobers lives would be. So even though the transfer fee would be a lot more you might save way you might save money on the wages compared to if you brought someone like Madison in so I don't know we'll see maybe we'll end up with Zobersly maybe we'll end up with Madison maybe we'll end up with both it's going to be an exciting summer but I think 
to get to have a 22, 23 year old player who's scored so many goals and got so many assists in his league, in a good league, the German league, this season is quite exciting. And I think he looks like a player who could definitely make the transition to the Premier League. And he's a player who wants to try and make the transition to the Premier League pretty soon, judging by his comments that he made fairly recently. So, what do you think? Do you want to see him at the club? Is this a, a, a signing that excites you? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you really soon for another video.